Hey guys, today I want to have a little chat about exotic snipers. There's a lot of them out there. No Land Beyond, Patience in Time, Hereafter, Zen Meteor, and Black Spindle. Black Spindle is widely considered as the best DPS sniper in the game for PvE, and for good reason. Its perk is insanely good because it can let you fire your entire capacity of ammo without reloading. Not to mention it has the highest impact, or one of the highest impacts in the game. It is literally designed to be a boss killing machine. No Land Beyond is on the opposite side of the spectrum. It is a terrible PvE weapon, but for PvP, it allows you to snipe for an entire game without having to look for too much ammo. It's pretty solid for run and gun, and now that I got a couple of tweaks, it's actually not completely bad, although the scope changes hurt it just a little bit. That leaves us with Patience and Time, Hereafter, and Zen Meteor essentially in no man's land, in this in-between world where they're just not quite good enough to warrant using a lot of the time. Zen Meteor is a pretty cool weapon where the reward of precise shooting gives you that mega damage boosted shot. The problem is that to actually get that boosted shot, you need three rapid kills. Now, I'm going to be talking about the power and strength of these weapons, not necessarily their fun factor for the purposes of this video, just to get that out of the way. Three rapid kills with Zen Meteor means you need either extreme precision and timing to kill high value targets, or you need to kill stuff that is way below the weapon's pay grade, aka regular enemies. The fact that you have these kind of limitations is kind of a buzzkill for the weapon. Patience and Time and Hereafter suffer from similar issues damage-wise. Simply put, there doesn't feel like there's a reason that you should use either of them damage-wise. They have really cool bonuses, and thematically, they're awesome and really feel exotic. Hereafter is probably the best sounding weapon in the game, it's awesome. But they just don't offer enough compared to legendary snipers when their main use is strictly for dealing damage. In a raid environment, their bonuses are basically wasted for the most part, although in stuff like the Nightfall they have a better chance of success, specifically hereafter over patience and time. In PvP, legendary snipers pretty much reign supreme because of the power of exotic primary weapons, and because of the issues with the exotic sniper bonuses not really mattering. Perfectionist doesn't matter too much for PvP in the grand scheme of things, although Patience in Time fares slightly better due to its bonuses. Zen Meteor, Black Spindle, forget it, you're not really going to use those over a thousand yard. I wouldn't mind seeing some PvE buffs for these snipers in some form to reward those bonuses and perks and procs actually being utilized well instead of just something happening. Before having a discussion with a friend, I thought that Zen Meteor could probably use a change to something like three headshots in a row as opposed to three kills in a row. This change alone would make it a viable boss killing weapon in addition to being able to be used the way a sniper should be without feeling penalized. However, when we actually look at it in terms of a boss killing weapon, this change from kills to headshots might make it a bit too strong since it feels designed to be this very flashy weapon, not so much a workhorse like the spindle. The thing that I don't like about Zen Meteor is how rushed the bonus feels. Three rapid kills need to happen pretty quickly and that sort of creates this panicked feeling and with the sniper I don't feel like that fits the theme too great. However since the bonus shot deals a lot of damage the thought process is alright I'll clean up these small dudes and then I'll use the mega shot on the big dude which makes plenty of sense. Or you could just shoot the big dude with your sniper and get it over with. The risk reward balance feels like it's more in favor with the risk. If we changed it to either precision shots or kills, that might make it a little too flexible, almost guaranteeing that you're going to get the mega shot. Perhaps the best course of action would be to remove the whole rapid part of the three kills to make it a little more flexible without feeling like you're being rushed. Hereafter is a really cool gun. Really cool. Not to mention that it's actually pretty good already. Even a pleb like me was able to score 15 headshots in one round of PvP with it. The blinding effect feels pretty weak. In the Sunless Cell, it works pretty well since there are so many enemies around, but you don't always have that luxury. A couple of things I wouldn't mind seeing with Hereafter are, one, a faster blinding activation or it actually dealing damage, and or two, a bonus damage increase to blinded enemies. The blinding activation is pretty slow, where in PvP it's basically a non-factor. Most of the time if you are near someone and they get sniped, you're gonna get the hell out of there and will dodge the blinding effect. If this was made a little more punishing for groups of people stacked up, it would feel more rewarding. Also, having it do a little more damage similar to Firefly would be nice. 
Perhaps a Perfectionist proc could also trigger the blinding effect as a PvE buff, although that might be a little much. For PvE, I think a slight damage boost on blinded targets would be a nice quality of life addition, although a lot of enemies tend to die in one shot anyway, but it'd be good against the high tier enemies. Finally, Patience and Time could use a little PvE love. In PvE, Patience and Time is a really safe bet. Great stability with it giving you a lot of tools to stay out of the enemy eye line. But in theme with the weapon, I think a cool buff for it would be for it to gain power the longer you're stealthed and scoping in up to a cap. You're sitting, you're aiming, you're waiting for the perfect shot to happen. So being able to basically exchange rate of fire for a bigger damage reward feels like it could fit. In PvP, it wouldn't be able to one-shot body shot, but if someone sat there for a while, it would bring you pretty low. Maybe black spindle-like damage as a body shot. This buff in PvE would let you be versatile, letting you pop those quick shots if you wanted, or letting yourself charge up for a big damage shot on a boss or a high-tier enemy or something like that. Anyway, those are some thoughts on the exotic snipers in the game right now. I had a few people asking me about them recently, so I thought I'd give you my thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, a positive rating is always appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.